51 hours of upkeep at the bottom right. I might be rated one minute here. The reason I say that is because it could just be my external TC outside that I see upkeep with. Yet again, I don't know. Maybe that's not the case. What I do know is that I have depth of field on it, I need to turn it off. Yeah, so I have 51 hours here. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not rated. I think that I'm okay, actually, then. TC over here. Okay, I have 54 hours and 51 hours. Okay, cool. Nice. First things first, and I want to get done today. Get this airlock right here complete. It needs to get done. I meant to do it yesterday, but I got way, way too caught up in PvP. I was searching for it all, like, for a lot of the day. Wasn't finding as much as I wanted, so I just stayed out there, stayed out there, stayed out there, because I was never getting enough to really fulfill me to where then I was like, okay, I've got enough PvP. It's time to go farm, you know? That was just not a thing, because I wasn't getting enough. But, I'm going to be sure to get that part done today. And don't make me start using the compound bow again, man, because that shit yesterday, that shit was fun. It was fun. It was a good time. How much high qual do I have? 30? Okay. We can definitely make, we can definitely afford to make some P2s then, which is good. Even though, man, I'm going to be, oh, well, actually, no, because we are going to be roaming with Pump Slug at some point today. We're going to need to go outside, get stone for expanding out our base, and then how much metal frags do I have? Okay, I have enough to do a bit of expanding. Uh, I'm probably just gonna be getting a bit of everything. Good bit of sulfur, good bit of stone, good bit of metal. And I need a good bit of sulfur just because, one, I have none left, really. And two, uh, slugs with pump slug take a lot of GP to consistently craft up, so. I'll take this pickaxe and I shall go and, uh, start doing my, my thing, huh? It would be nice to have a ice pick. That would be cool. Hopefully I'll get one today. Or a jackhammer from someone out here in the snow. We'll see. Because I'm going to be honest, man. Like, since safe zones are not safe zones anymore, you can still go inside of Outpost and Bandit Camp to buy stuff, but it's not safe. Like, people can kill you in there, and there's, like, no bots that are going to save you or anything. Um... The real question is, with it being like that, are jackhammers going to remain as popular as they once were in vanilla? Or are people just going to start not giving a shit about the safe zone aspect of the game? And, like, the shops there and stuff, right? I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about. Alright, time to go home. 1,200 sulfur for a shit ton of slugs, and then also a decent bit of metal, a little bit of stone as well. Got 4k stone. Not too bad. I definitely want to get, like, another couple thousand, though, by the end of the day. And I guess that I'll probably end up doing that later when I'm forced to, when I don't have enough upkeep. <laughs> or there's a stone node that's right here in front of me, and that is very, very nice of you, game. Thank you. I'm wondering how many pipes I have inside my base. I feel like I don't have a whole lot of pipes, and I'm going to need pipes. I know that I have springs for the pump, and a little bit of high qual for the pumps, but let me just look. Oh yeah, 17. Just inside the first box, we got 17. And this is not even an organized base, okay? Not even an organized base here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need some wood. Oh, fuck, okay. Okay, start cooking metal, start cooking sulfur. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take out all the stone that we're gonna need. 3K is probably good. Let's go ahead and take out a bit of wood here. Two sheet doors, two key locks, and one metal shop front. That's pretty much it. Then we just have to expand it. Then we can actually have like a proper way to get in and out of the base. And actually, I'm going to need to make a double sheet door as well because I want to have a way to get out of the top of my base. Time to see if I die as I start expanding, I suppose. Yeah, the base up there above me, by the way, dude, my neighbors, I'm pretty sure those guys are the very first people that raided me on this server. Yeah, they're, uh, they're expanded pretty, uh, they've progressed a pretty good amount, you know? That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, we could be getting raided again very, 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 very soon, and there's nothing that we can really do about it besides possibly move, which I don't really want to do that. Okay. Double sheet door, down, boom, and then I should already have a ladder that's inside of here, which is amazing. You love that. Boom. Two ladders just inside that one first crate. I love it. And then... Boop. And then there is a... Floor up here. That is now upgraded to stone. Alright, cool. Nice. We have our airlock complete, my friends. Let's go. 
Now I suppose we can see, what all do we need for a pump? How, mu or, uh, how much high qual? Like 10? 15? God, dude, that's gonna eat up half our fucking high qual. I mean, it's a good weapon. It's a good weapon. We do have stuff that we can always go and recycle to get more high qual as well. So it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't know if we're gonna necessarily survive that run when we go and recycle, but, you know, we'll see. Worst comes to worst, we can go grind up crates at launch and find high qual inside of the green crates there. You know? We're not in a terrible position. All right, compound bow can go away. Listen, the compound bow might come out later, okay? If we need it to save us again, like yesterday, then we'll take it out, okay? This right here is going to be our set, I think, man. Three meds, pump slug, crossy. I guess let's go start doing this, man. Fuck it, let's go. Feels nice to have my airlock complete now. And as I am out roaming, looking for PvP, I am going to be looting. That's just, yeah, I feel like that's just the best idea. That way, if I'm not... Oh, shit. I'm seeing someone to my left right now. It looks like he was coming near me. There he is right there. He has a tier 2 gun. He's just running right. He's just AFK at the tree. He's dead, bro. Wow. I hit him with two shots, and then he bled out. Okay, he only has a P2. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Still a P2, though. Decent way to start out the roam. I really, really want to see the damage that it did from that range, because Slug, within the past, like, three months, got buffed. The fall-off distance, or the fall-off damage got buffed to where it does more damage from a distance now. Which is a pretty big deal. So, yeah, here, one minute. So, if we go to the very, very first shot, 100 to 51 from that range? Oh my god, dude, that is crazy damage. Dropped him from, it did half his HP with just one body shot. Like, would it have one shot, headshot him from that distance then now? If so, that's nuts. This is about to be, like, this is actually like a meta now then, in that case. Just get solid with hitting your headshots and you're gonna be striving. As long as you have a fucking angle to just jiggle peek people, even if they know about you, and you jiggle headshot has you guys, man, they're not even gonna have time to even react. They won't even be able to fucking kill you, like. No crate there. Okay, someone's been around here looting, that means. Alright. Crate in here? Nope. Alright. Get ready, my friends. We may have some company. I am seeing some crates up there, though. I'm seeing a green crate way, way up there, so no one's looted that, but they've looted a bit of stuff over here. Which means that they possibly did not have enough rad protection to go over there. That could easily be the case. Got a crate right here. Nope. Oh, yeah, man. Got some shit dropped right here. A blocker and a watchtower. Seeing another thing dropped on top of that box over there. Dude, I think that I just barely missed whoever came here. We got close to catching them, dude. There is a, there is a chance that they're still here, though. There is always a chance. Hmm... Another one up here, Snap Trap. Alright, alright. It's called Snap Trap instead of Bear Trap now. It's kind of funny that they changed that. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go and loot the yellow thing over there right now. That's going to be what I go do. Hopefully, I get green crates that have high quality. I mean, it's a pretty common thing to find inside green crates, so I feel like I should be able to find some. Hey, man, what's up? How we doing, huh? Okay, that just one hit this fucking guy. What the hell? There's no way that guy was 100 HP. Zero chance. Oh my god, dude. And he has all this fucking cloth and 600 scrap. I see Margaret. I know that name, I think. Or accent. Yeah, I mean, I know Margaret, not Maragret. Jeez, dude. That fucking hurts. I need to get out of here. 41 high call. That's fucking huge for us, dude. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? What was his HP? 53, dude. Why are you 53 HP with all this cloth? Well, I mean, he probably just not recycled to get all that cloth, but... Wow. Alright, well, I mean, we're actually getting instant PvP today. I like that. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I've been wanting this every single day, but... Again, it's like, I feel like I'm just dodging people at different points, and that's why sometimes I just cannot find people. But again, I just need to be looting as I am looking for people, and then... I'll be getting shit done regardless. We can keep on upgrading our base more and more and more the more components that I recycle more high quality we get, the better. No, I mean, not that it's going to stop the guys that live in a castle above me from raiding me, though. You know, like, no matter what my base gets to, I'm fucked. I'm, like, I'm going to get wiped out. 
sooner or later, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just inevitable. But, uh, again, unless I want to move and really make the sacrifice of moving and dedicate, like, an hour or two out of the fucking session to go do that, which I don't really want to do that, guys. I'm going to be honest. I personally don't want to do that. That's not really something that I'm too interested in doing. But it might have to be done. I'm not too sure. It's not about what you want to do, Dylan. It's about what has to be done. You have to make things right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be honest though, man. I wanna fight like a duo of like tier two guys. Or or, or even like a trio of just tier two hazy guys as I have a pump at just a really, really crazy angle. I'm telling you, man, you could make some very, very sexy plays happen with this gun. So like just beautiful plays. Just back to back to back, just one shot headshots, like oh, come on man. I'm gonna go and loot this uh yellow thingy dingy over here. Oh, and by the way, thank you for all the love on this series so far, guys. Thank you, thank you. Been seeing a lot of positive comments, positive responses. And I'm grateful for it, you know? I'm grateful for the good energy that gets sent my way by a lot of you. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Alright, no crate there. Someone's down here. Someone's down there. I just not fucking heard a barrel get hit. <laughs> I hear him just randomly stop. Oh. I need to get down there one minute here. I think that he's looting the one fucking room, and I've never killed someone inside that room in my entire Rust life, and I'm not gonna miss out on that bit of a uh, bit of an achievement, okay? Achievement unlocked, my friends. Not even like an actual achievement in the game, just like an internal achievement. Like, yes, I killed someone in this room and not near everyone, not near an, all of you guys can say they've killed someone inside this room. Okay, not near all of you guys. Nowhere near all of you guys. Like 99.9 .9 of people cannot say that they've killed someone in this room. 100%. Can I have some like 5k to 10,000 hour players that can back me up in the comments? And listen, some of you motherfuckers that haven't done it. Some of the fucking 15,000 to 20,000 hour players probably haven't done it. Because after you play this game for so long, you know how rare it is to fucking catch someone inside that room. And that's why I just hunted him and just didn't really care. I had to. And he actually had a pretty good run on him too. That's what's nice. I don't like on how, like, whenever you're holding a pump specifically, when you all look right, your arm blocks your view so much. I hate that. I feel like that's actually something that needs to get fixed. Not enough people use pump, though. If pump was, like, a primary weapon and, like, the devs realize that it was, they would fix this ASAP. But it's not, like, like a problem that anyone gives any fucks about because no one gives a shit about the pump shotgun, really. Compared to other guns, like, it's not, you know. Compared to other guns, it just isn't, you know. It's not going to be talked about as much when it comes to fixing something like that. Unless it's intended. Maybe it's intended for, for you to just look into your actual own arm. You know? We all know Rust is about realism, and that's... Nothing gets more real than... Seeing your empty arm with no flesh and blood inside of it. To be honest, I kinda need to just start dying so I can just start going out with all this bullshit. Like, just, just all these shitty clothes. Like, I have so much of it. Not in this box. This box right here, though, and this right here. Alrighty, already three kills though, already three kills. Not like I'm saying like, we're 3-0, oh, we're so good, it's just like, I'm happy that I'm getting action is all. None of the kills that I've really got are like, you know, super challenging or anything. None of them, actually no, I guess that I did get one tier 2 kill, technically, because someone had a P2. But, yeah, I'm wanting more and more and more. Seeing a green crate over there, parkour is looted. I wonder if anyone's inside the recycle building, maybe. Another crate right here. It's kind of doubtful that anyone's inside the recycle building. They would have looted all this other shit. Unless they're specifically on just a huge recycle run with all their comps from their base. Yeah, no one's in there. Okay. Someone did re- Ooh, high external wood wall. Who just, like, who drops these things? 
who in the right mind drops a high external wooden wall? Like, I just, I don't know. Isn't that just a little bit strange? It's like, even a full metal guy that has everything in the game, I feel like, would keep that. It's just a nice thing for cover. Only thing, only thing that I can think of is that, like, they were somehow full inventory and thought, okay, well, the high wood wall has to drop. I don't know what that inventory is, but... Ooh, I had to try hitting that headshot in time. I had to. Fuck, he's just gonna run. Okay. Nicholas. You can come back and get your bow from on the ground, my friend. I am not gonna be taking it. Do not worry. I'm a kind killer, let's just say, okay? Like, I'm gonna kill you, which may not be looked at as that kind of me, right? But, I am gonna leave your weapon, if I don't need it. Which, a bow, I don't really need. Even a crossbow, I don't really need. I'll even leave crossies on the ground. Real question is, are my guys camping in here? I don't know, let's find out. Oh, shit. It's really, really weird that this building's looted. And the green crate that's outside on the balcony is not looted. That's what's kind of weird about it. Yeah, I guess we're all good. Okay, cool. Now, I'm, I mean, like, after experiencing yesterday and seeing those one guys camp it, I'm going to be so paranoid anytime that I fucking loot this place. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit, bro. Jesus. I choked it out on him right there. Thankfully, I'm not dead, though. Bitch, fuck off. Jesus. <laughs> I should be dead, but... I wouldn't deserve to be, okay? I wouldn't deserve it. Oh my god, 283 scrap. Wait, from Ron? Wait a minute. Is this the one of the guys that I had just recently killed for sure? Wait, he only has he only had scrap on him, which is very, very weird. Where's the rest of his stuff that he recycled? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did he only take his high qual six? High qual nine. Why is the high qual just sitting there like that? And like, where's the metal frags? Unless he only had high qual opponents, which nine high qual is a little bit weird for getting like 200 something scrap or whatever the fuck he had. It's a very, very weird number. I don't know where his metal frags would be to be honest, but I'm just gonna simply walk away now, I suppose. You know? Oh, dude, I'm fully dehydrated. Fuck. Uh oh. Not quite ideal to be moving like this, and I just now saw someone run into that 2x2 two two over there. I had shot a crossy at him, and he upgraded everything to stone instantly. I wonder if that's him. The guy that I had just killed. Good old Ron. Okay, I got nothing from that right there, really. Fuck. Yeah, never mind. More like 15 seconds. Oh, there's another food box over here, though. Please don't give me the worst food again. Chocolate bar and granola bar were the two worst things. If I get a can of tuna, I'm good. If I get a can of beans, I'm good. Enough. Yeah, thank you. That's what I thought. Thank you, thank you, game. And now another food box. Give me the water now. Or just more of the same. It is something, after all, so I can't really complain. So then I actually started to get door camped a little bit. As you can see right here on the screen, as I was actually on my way home from launch, I ended up killing a burlap guy inside of launch. And then as I came back, I saw him camping on top of my base. So if I'm going to be getting door camped by water pipes, I really don't want to be leaving with pump uh, slug right now. Just because if I keep on dying with pumps, I'm feeding not only a door camper pump shotguns, but also just losing my, uh, my high call, right? So we're going to run with compound bow for a little bit now. Been loving this hardcore mode, though, guys. I mean, like, again, like, it's really not that different from vanilla to me. To me, personally. That's someone that has, that never even uses the compass. Like, I have the compass off by default in vanilla. Just because, well, there's reasons. I'm not going to get into the exact reasons, but, yeah. 
there is a reason that I roll with the compass off. It is better to have it on than off, though. But yeah, I do. I I do have it off for a reason. And then yeah, I mean the only thing is the map. And not having a map is something to definitely get used to. But that's really it. Like that's the only difference to me. That's it. Which that's really the only difference for a solo player, really. So I don't know, man. Hardcore mode might be uh my new home, guys. Might be the like the new main series on the channel. I'm gonna be honest. It's just kind of complicated to like name the series because it's still all gonna be solo. Oh shit! Someone died here with it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Josephine. How, how, how whatever the fuck that name is. Um. <laughs> oh my god, dude! We got fucking five crossbows. Holy shit! Where are some human beings at, man? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna start looting here. Seems like whenever I care to start looting, people just show up. It's weird. Like, if I just roam around water two minutes, like, I just don't find people. If I loot, they'll come to me, though. Is he gonna peek right there? Or not? running. I'm just gonna start just going on kind of like a big flank. He might be predicting it. My... I was kind of close to him as I started to flank a little bit. Oh, shit. Don't let him see me. Hit it again now, bitch. Fuck. Oh my god, he's just running for it, man. <laughs> I may have scared him off, it's possible. Or he's down inside this hole here. Dude could really be anywhere behind any one of these walls. I'm just gonna zoom down here. Hope he's not down here, okay. Shit, man, I don't know where the fuck he went. That's not here. Aww. Well played. Dude, wait. That's not the guy that I was just now fighting. That legit might be someone that was camping that building. Like yesterday. I'm not even joking. We've been around this area, like, running around, like, battling it out, that guy. And this guy, like, we were just, like, recently, like, uh, like right next to this building. And I don't think the guy had, like, just went in there. Like, he didn't. He's been in there, man. That's interesting. Huh. GG well played regardless, but okay. Makes me like kinda wanna go back and mess with the guy. <laughs> well, I mean like that right there might have been the guy's teammate that I was fighting. I'm not too sure who it was, but Yeah, uh We're gonna be going back. I just need to make another compound bow and get some of this different gear on. It's gonna take us a while to get back, but we will be going there. And I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm guessing that the guys inside there are full of patience, especially if it's the same guys from yesterday that I had actually killed that had pumping revolvers. I, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like it's them. For some reason, it just, it just seems too weird for it not to be them. But again, like, like I said, I, like, I've been seeing some people comment on my videos saying that they've died to people that are just camping at Monument, so it could just be a different team, and this is just how some people play in hardcore, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't really fully understand the point of that. It's not like if you camp inside that wheel room, you have, like, a guaranteed kill on getting someone juicy, you know what I mean? It's not like that at all. A, a naked with nothing could just walk inside that room, and it's just gonna be awkward. <laughs> You're gonna kill someone. Expose your position to people that are around the monument, and then I guess you're camping inside there in, in a sense waiting for people to come to you like that So I guess that it works, but it is a reliable strategy to just camp and hide no matter what situation you're in But you're just gonna gain less You're gonna gain no game sense from doing that besides to just camp and hide more which is not really teaching you anything skillful I don't really want to waste my other fire arrow, so I'm not gonna. Ah, oh, shit. 
I'm getting shot at by something that has a... That has suppressed incense bullets. Oh yeah, no, I see the guys over there on that hill, kind of like, near like where I came from. I don't know what gun he has exactly, but... I'm just gonna run into here, don't mind me. <laughs> He's probably gonna try and come over here. Within the bit of time that I'm here, I'm gonna be trying to, uh... Oh, wait. There's someone that's on top of the fucking recycle building. Oh, shit. And he even has a hazmat suit. Okay, one minute here. It's time for us to go for a fucking dream shot. He has other teammates that are in there, by the way. Oh, yeah, they definitely fucking know about me. Definitely know about me. Ah, oh, God, dude, a little bit more to the right, Dylan. I try going for the headshot. Try going for the headshot. Even though from that range, it's not really going to do too much, I don't think. I don't know. I'm like halfway expecting to get murdered here by someone, the fucking incense bullet guy. I'm just gonna get on top of this building and just see where things go, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's there's at least two guys inside that building over there that are recycling. That guy on top did have a Thompson, I think, from what it looked like, so. Oh, I just saw someone like right fucking here. I'm not even joking. Oh my god, dude. What are these teams doing? Thankfully, they're fucking stupid, like... Oh, wait. Dude, oh my god, no. No. Dude, there is so many of them. What is this? Okay, well, this is awkward. Dude, no! Ah, oh, that sucks, dude, that sucks. I was so ready up there when they first hit came- Or, like, after I killed the first guy, I was so ready for them to push out that door. I didn't expect them to push out the door, dude. Oh my god. We could have killed all those guys, dude. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing. I might need to come back with Pump Slug. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, like, we have to. We have to come back with Pump Slug. I feel like we could kill all those guys, dude, 100%. I feel like we could definitely- Dude, oh my god. We could definitely fucking kill all those guys. No doubt in my mind for one fucking moment that we can kill all those guys with Pump Slug. Sorry that I keep on repeating myself. But, oh my god, they're so bad. And it's like, it was one of their teammates that was inside the wheel room that I killed. That's why they started crouching over, I think. And they still didn't even know that, like, it came from up there. Like, oh my god, what are they thinking? Oh my god, dude, these hardcore clan players. They are so fucking terrible. What the hell is going on? Like, what is actually happening right now, guys? Can someone explain to me? Yeah, Dylan, you're playing Rust and there's bad players. Oh, thanks, okay. I didn't know that. I'm glad that you have a higher IQ than me and that you can figure these things out, because these things are beyond my, uh... My, uh, my level of thinking. Now the question is, am I getting camped as soon as I decide to end up leaving with Pump Slug? Maybe so. I don't know, guys. Oh yeah, right there. I see Marine. Who the fuck is this guy? Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here now, though. I don't know who the fuck Marina. Like, I just have random people that just door camp me. I've never seen that name in my life, and he's just door camping me. It's like, okay, whatever, I guess. Like, I'm, like, I'm serious. I fucking dare all these guys to be there. I fucking dare them. I don't live near water treatment, so it's a good, like, five-minute run for me to... Oh, probably, like, four-minute run for me to get all the way there. That's a hazy guy. Who the fuck is he? Is he with them? I don't think that he's with them. Almost like he's spying on someone, though. It's really, really weird. I don't know who's all with who at the moment. 
There was a normal Hazzy guy that I just had saw over there. I don't know where he went, though. That's what kind of sucks. Unless, what if they are all just camping in there? Can you guys imagine? I mean, I highly, highly doubt it. They ended up dropping shit on the ground. I think their teammates inside here were full. I'm going to go in. I might die going in. We'll see. I'm feeling very, very paranoid around here, though, just so we all know. I, like, I don't feel safe, like, at all right now. This guy even had his own compound bow. Oh, shit. And a nail gun. This right here actually is my compound bow that they ended up swapping out for shit on their teammate's body. Dude, if I had pump slug right there, oh my god. I mean, like, a compound bow is still fun. Don't get it fucked up. Like, I'm not mad at myself for not ro roaming pump slug. The reason I'm not ro or the, uh, that I wasn't roaming pump slug is just because I've been getting door camped throughout the day, so. I decided, you know what, it's compound bow time. It sounds like fun anyway. Let's just use compound bow. So that's kind of what led to me using compound bow. I don't know how many of the door camp situations have really been shown in the video. They probably haven't really been getting shown. I died once, but then my neighbors that live above me ended up killing the guy, and then I went and looted him. I don't, I don't know if my neighbors above me are cool with me, that means. I don't fucking know. I don't know what it means, but yeah, no one's here now, dude. Dude, if I had pump slug on me right there in that moment, I would have fought. I mean, I, would I have killed all of I Listen, I feel like I would have. I really do. My, like, the confidence of just think within myself when I just think about that, like, I feel like I would have fucking killed all of them. I genuinely do. Now they're all gone, dude. Like, that right there was, like, the perfect situation for Pump Slug. Like, a perfect situation. Doesn't get any more perfect than that. It really doesn't. It would have been dope if I was actually able to get inside of there in time. Try and kill someone and actually I just now saw somebody. You ready for this? I saw him over there. My guess is that he's going to be behind this wall working his way over here toward where I was running. He could be, like, right fucking here behind this wall. We need to be careful. That was not the guy that I had saw, by the way. Oh shit. Later. You're dead. That's not it, I don't think. I think there's still another dude that's here. I saw him with, like, wolf headdress, like, like white armor and shit. I swore that I did. I just don't know exactly where he's at. Because, honestly, he's probably just crouching around, hiding, camping the body. Oh, yeah, no, no I see him, I see him. It's definitely the weirdos. It's definitely the weirdos. Let me just come down here and just fucking loot these guys. That guy's not gonna push me, he's too scared. Oh my god, get the fucking python, please, dude. It's not that difficult. Oh, it's not letting me get it, so whatever, I guess. I see him, I see him, one minute. I just don't need his teammates coming back here and fucking murdering me as I'm doing this right now against him. Guy's dead. They all just have Python. It seems. Where is your Python at, my good sir? Semi auto pistol. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Can I please just pick up the fucking bot or the fucking gun? Thank you, game. Holy shit. How difficult is it for you to just fucking give me the gun? <laughs> I'm not gonna go up that ladder. I don't feel safe going up it. I just have to loot one other guy though. They could all just I mean like they I mean like that's four dead. I don't know if it's exactly the guys that I'm thinking, but Oh, 
jumping back down inside the tunnels going this way. Now we gotta make it back home, though, so... I guess we'll see what happens with that. Alright, we have made it back home with that run. That right there was, like, one of the best runs on the server so far. Or, like, one of the best runs just in hardcore so far. That was dope. Got a good amount of weapons right there. Hell yeah. Fucking pump slug, dude. Oh my god, it's so much fucking fun. So underrated, too. But yet again, the slugs are pretty pricey, so... There is, you know, it's not like it's all just an upside. Like, if it was all upside, everyone would be using pump slugs. So it's like... Not everyone uses it because... Well, you can come up with your own ideas on why not everyone uses pump slug. So right there is pretty much the majority of what happened today. Uh... Throughout my session, there was actually still a couple more kills that I got. One that I died in, and one that I actually succeeded in. I'm going to go and play those very, very quickly for you. Oh, I missed the headshot. Fuck. Well played. GG's. What all do you have? Oh, shit, man. I kind of feel bad for the guy that I cleaned up. I just literally, like, one-shot him. From 90... Uh, 60... Wait. I don't know. I'm not going to start standing still in fields and look. I'm just going to go back home, though. I'm just going to do my outro right here, I suppose. Hopefully I don't die on the way home. But, um... Yeah, if you end up making it here to the end of this video, comment slug, okay? If I, if I don't get raided, and we get to get on tomorrow with our base, be expecting to, uh, some more pump slug. Be expecting more. I'm really, really excited to use it. I feel like we're kind of on point with it. Not 100% on point. I'm still having my little moments where I'm not playing the best like that time over there. Just not water treatment where I killed one, then the other guy peeked me and I body shot him. I should have headshotted him there, but <clears throat> it is what it is. It's over. and Learn from it, Dylan. Improve yourself. Be better next time. Um, yeah, comment slug, though. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today, experiencing, you know, these moments with me. It was a good day today, I feel like. Really, really fun PvP type of day on Hardcore. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace and love to you and yours, and, uh, yeah, bye.